What's poppin' peeps? T-Money up in the Heezy, uh, Wednesday night, day before Thanksgiving. I wanted to do um, a collection overview for Umbrella Films. Um, I guess another step in the series, another chapter in the series uh, where I talk about the films that I have from different boutique labels. Uh, so, gonna keep it brief, not really gonna talk about the films other than whether I like them or not. Um, for those of you who don't know, Umbrella Entertainment is based out of Australia, and they are kind of known primarily for releasing horror films, but they do do uh, other genre films as well. So, um, it's not all horror by any means, but I only do collect the horror, and they put out a lot of it, so uh, it's cool. My only gripe, really, with the company is a lot of the stuff they put out is uh, our releases that we have from other companies, so it's a lot of, like, repeat stuff, and, you know, every label's kind of guilty of copying, of releasing a, a movie, I think, to date, that another label had previously released, so, on Blu-ray, so, um, that's why I don't buy everything, because some things I'm just like, well, I already have the Blue Underground release of this film, so I don't need to grab, you know, it's not, like, so, so much better, like, that you need to have the Umbrella Entertainment Edition for me, and my own personal opinion, but uh, some of the films actually are really interesting, uh, and I'd never heard of them. They do kind of put out some of their own stuff, or uh, I don't know exactly. Is Pipsy meowing? Pipsy meowing? You meowing? No, she's sleeping. All right, we're good. So, uh, let's get right into this. Um, I have two DVDs, and then I have a few handfuls, a few small, two small stacks of uh, Blu-rays. So, let's see here. Uh, the first one uh, is a newer release from Umbrella Entertainment. It's called Out of the Shadows. I actually haven't had a chance to watch this one yet. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to um, position it so there's no glare. But Out of the Shadows, I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, I think it's like a supernatural horror film, uh, maybe. Um, but I really like the cover artwork. That was definitely a um, drawn in by the cover purchase, no doubt. Uh, and then I have a film that they released. Dud House Films, Umbrella Releasing, A Night of Horror, Volume 1. Uh -oh, I'm going to lose my snake, but I'm a master snake handler. I, hand him, I handle him rough, but I handle him with care. So don't think I'm abusing this guy. I train him really good. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Night of Horror, Volume 1. This was actually a really pleasant surprise. I really dug this. Um, it's a 10-story anthology film. Creepy as hell, man. There's a, there's one involving a priest and there's one involving a woman who works at like a medical, I don't know if it's a morgue or where they put the bodies on the gurney and they kind of um, do a, what a, not a biopsy, a, um, when you die, they gut you and you know what I'm saying. I, I lose my train of thought a lot or I, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. It was really creepy, those two stories in particular, so I highly recommend this. And I think this is an example of a release that doesn't have, like no other uh, label has put this film out, so you, in order to watch it you have to grab it from umbrella it's all region so i highly recommend it if you like your horror anthologies i've heard some mixed reviews but fuck it um i liked it a lot so yes i highly recommend a night of horror volume one those every story is most like i'd say six out of ten of the stories are good um but but um there aren't any bad ones and there are a few great ones so so yeah, those are the two DVDs I have, and now we'll just plow through the DV, uh, through the Blu-rays. So first up, I have Slither. At the time when I bought this, I put it in a red case. Uh, it didn't come in a red case. All the other cases are blue, I think. Um, but there was no Slither release. This was, I think, the exclusive Blu-ray, so at least as far as I knew. So I grabbed it. Uh, there are a bunch of features. I don't know if they're ported over from the original DVD. I'm not going to get into special features and stuff like that, because it would be just way too long of a video. Another one, I love this film, Beyond Darkness. Oh, Beyond Darkness. Beyond the Darkness, Joe D'Amato. Huge fan of this film. I've had it since the Shriek Show double disc uh, special edition DVD was put out. So I had to grab this, and I got this. Again, this is an example of a film. Severin, I think, recently put out um, Beyond the Darkness as well. I picked it up. And it's actually a better release than this, I would say. But at the time that this was released, um, i trying to find a year. I don't see one offhand real quick, though. So, anyway, yeah, this was it. This was it. So, if you wanted Beyond the Darkness on Blu-ray, you had to go with this release. So, I did, and I'm still happy to have it because I love the film. Uh, next up, again, Stakeland. This is just their version. It's an Australia company, so keep in mind they're kind of, I think, first and foremost catering to Australians. 
um, providing them with horror films, you know, that they might... Because, you know, just like in Australia, it's like, we don't want to... We have to go out of our way to pick up a Region 2 Blu-ray player. Australia, they have to go out of their way to pick up U.S. Blu-rays. So it's... I think they're really good in that sense of boutique, boutique label serving Australia uh, to cater to Australians who want, um, you know, indie horror or whatever, um, niche, niche horror, not all niche, but just horror in general, providing them with that. Uh, another one, this is just a single edition. I guess originally, um, Andrew Ballina actually did a, did a uh, pretty thorough collection overview of his. He has a pretty good... Uh, decent size umbrella entertainment collection. He has a lot of the older ones, and I learned a few things about the releases from watching his video. Um, but yeah, so I've apparently Day of the Dead, George A. Romero's Day of the Dead, which is one of my all-time favorite films. Dawn of the Dead is my favorite film of, uh, ever. Um, but this was like a two-disc release, and there's a couple others that were, I think Zombie Flesh Eaters had a two-disc. A couple others, I'll go through them as I go. But I got just the one-disc um, edition of this, because again, when I started getting into umbrella they had already been around for a little while so i missed out on a lot of those uh special um dual disc releases uh i don't know if they were like supplemental features on those or if they were just like a dvd blu-ray combo but i think it was more along the lines of features rather than blue re blue red dvd which is a shame because i'd love to own those um but and then this one i grabbed on ebay beastmaster good film Actually, really, uh, I read Don Coscarelli hated this film. He directed it, uh, but it's fun. Sword and Sandals type nonsense. Uh, the Brood, again, before Criterion put out their version, I grabbed this. Zombie Flesh Eaters, I love this film. It's one of my favorites. Lucio Fulci's Zombie 2. So I try and, I just collect this film, so I try and collect um, pretty much every release I can get my hands on from it. So this one I actually bought semi-recently. And I haven't seen another one since on eBay. It was the only one. So, really happy to have that one. Uh, Idle Hands, really good film. I think there's a U.S. release of this as well, but I opted to go with this one. Um, because I think the U.S. release is bare bones, and this one has a featurette. And um, the offspring featured on the back there. That's cool. Yeah, I like this movie a lot. It's fun horror comedy. Uh, one of my favorite, probably my favorite, one of my favorite remakes of all time, for sure, no doubt. I, I dare say my favorite. I love this film. Uh, the remake of Romero's Night of the Living Dead from 1990. Huge fan of Savini's remake. Uh, again, a movie that I collect and buy on all formats. Uh, and, oh, multiple times on the same format. I just love that film. And that artwork is phenomenal. It's fucking insanity. I like it. Excuse my language. Uh, and I just want to say, I don't swear in my videos to be cool or anything like that. I just have a potty mouth and it's hard so I've been trying to contain myself and be a little more conscious of how I speak on camera but this isn't a little kids channel anyway so um, I'm not catering to babies or Disney babies and stuff like that I, I mean I collect Disney but this is more of a horror channel so we are definitely rated R over here not to not to say that that gives me an excuse to talk like trash but I just it is what it is I be who I be so I watch my mouth Try to at least. Uh, what? Doing a video. Um, so next up we have The Devil's Rejects. Uh, written and directed by Rob Zombie. Um, again, this is one I was kind of debating whether or not I should pick up because there's a US release for relatively cheap that I own. But I decided to go for it just because the American release of House of a Thousand Corpses is wicked... The transfer is wicked, wicked good. Uh, this one, the American release of Devil's Rejects, isn't the best. It's not nearly as good. Like, just for whatever reason, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, the U.S. cheap Blu-ray release, just looks awesome. Really, the colors pop. Really great uh, transfer on that. And so I was hoping uh, that this would be better. Um, and to be honest, I haven't watched it yet, so I can't... <laughs> I can't say. I am not sure, but I can tell you one thing. I'm cotton mouth, so I'm going to take a drink right now of this Schweppes Lemon Lime. Oh, yeah. Just drip it all over Lou and my t-shirt. You guys like my t-shirt? I think I've shown it before, but... Negan, represent. Um, I do love me some Walking Dead. No shame there. I think it sucks at times, but uh, anyway. 
but I like it overall. So let's get back into this. So Devil's Rejects, now we have Body Double. Uh, this is a film, I think at the time that I purchased this, this was your only option. I'm not sure, oh, um, Indicator actually put this out, and I don't have it, I don't think, right? You guys would know just as good as I if you watched uh, my video, my, but no, I don't. Um, now I'm thinking maybe I do. God, I'm so stupid. But anyway, yeah, so I grabbed it. Special features, there's some uh, featurettes and stuff like that, so. Uh, next up, this is an awesome release. Man from Hong Kong, you get like eight films in this. The movie's awesome, and then I haven't watched any of the others yet, but this is like eight films for the price of like one. I mean, Umbrella has recently upped their prices. Like their standard releases now are 34, and like when I bought this, this was 34, but most of them were like 24 or 30 or something like that, lower because they didn't have like eight extra films so this was justified but there has been a price increase lately and i'm not really sure what that's all about but uh anyway this release was awesome man from hong kong i can't say whether or not it has another release from another u.s boutique label but i would grab this sorry i'm into saying boutique label now it's just my new thing uh because that's exactly what they are really um niche labels you know what i mean so another one that's exclusive i think to umbrella Alien Nation, maybe not anymore, but uh, fun film, stoked when this one first came out. It's from earlier, I think last year, this was released. Uh, next up, we have a newer release as well, Dark Age, awesome killer croc film starring the lead guy from Wolf Creek, Jeff Jarrett, is it? John Jarrett. Um, so yeah, another cool, awesome film, fun film, and I think this is exclusive through Umbrella right now. I don't think there's another uh, Blu-ray at all anywhere from of dark age yet uh but uh next up i bought the integral cut reanimator because this is another film that i collect pretty much all versions of all media formats of so uh, unfortunately this was one that had uh, originally when it came out it was two i think it was a two disc dual disc special edition um release but now over time or whatever when they re-released it uh, it's just one disc, so I, I'm, I think I already said that. Sucks to only have the first or the one disc edition, but uh, another awesome one, the Entity. Uh, I do have a steel book. I think it's from Second Sight. Um, but if you don't want to pay fifty dollars for a steel book, uh, grab the Umbrella version because I don't know as if this film has a U.S. release on Blu-ray either. Um, so. Yeah, I think some of the more recent stuff, Dark Age, The Entity, Road Games, um, well, Suspiria has, is going to have a synapse release. The newer films that they're putting out seem to be more like, um, more niche, or I mean, I mean more like of like, um, a single, like, they're the only... The newer films that they've been putting out lately are not released by any other label. So, in order to get them. And I like that sort of thing. Like, I love when Scream Factory puts out Without Warning or The Final Terror, a film we've never seen before, a film that's never had. Arrow puts out Blood Rage and The Mutilator. Never had official releases before. Well, Mutilator did, but... Um, I'm not here to get t technical, and I am. But, uh, yeah, it's just really cool, like Dark Age and Road Games and uh, Man from Hong Kong. These films that I had never seen before, getting Blu-ray release, uh, Blu-ray, yeah, releases for the first time ever on Umbrella. Those are my favorite, the, the unique new releases. So that was a whole lot of talk for a very simple statement. I apologize. Road Games, Stacey Keach, and, um, yes, how could I have to look at that? Jamie Lee Curtis. This movie's a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of like the joyride slash like um, people getting stalked by a trucker type movie, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, so yeah, I recommend Road Games. It was good. Um, next up, Death Wish 2. I think Scream Factory put this one out as well, but I had to grab it. Um, I'm sorry, so it, it, it's a dual disc. Uh, it's Death Wish 2 and Death, Death Wish 3. And I kind of like how they did that. Like, this is the re reversible cover artwork. So you have your option of getting the title that has both names. And, or you have the option of displaying one and one on this release. So really cool. Um, Death Wish combos there. And then we have another excellent release, Electric Boogaloo. First time, I think this was its Blu-ray premiere. Really good documentary on um, 
Yablin Golan films or whatever they're called, uh, Canon films. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, the owners. Um, but yeah, really good documentary, very interesting. I actually haven't watched uh, Machete Mavens. I thought that was on here as well. It is, yes. So this is two in one. Electric Boogaloo, which is the documentary on Canon films, and then you have Machete Machete Mavens, um, which is another documentary. Um, Runners nonstop for you. So, I don't know what it's really about. I bought that for Electric Boogaloo. So, this is really cool. The blob. And so, you get the original, the classic. <laughs> that is the same thing, right? The 1958, the remake, and then also, I think, the Son of Blob. Um, but I have to say, I would recommend going with the Kino Lorber um, edition over the blob. Uh, Son of Blob from this because it's a better print, but either way, this is cool because you get three films for essentially the price of one, uh, given the price has risen a little bit, but it's a nice release. And the Blob and the remake look great. You don't have to freak out about not having the Blob anymore uh, from Twilight Time. So Another awesome release, another film I collect, Night of the Living Dead. This, again, I think was an original two-disc set. I think this is a one-disc edition. Then we have Razorback. So-so. Uh, this is an Aussie film, actually. I think Road Games is, too. But, um, yeah, this was okay. Not very good. Not as good as I remember it being. Really cool. I bought this one because... Actually, I, I opted not to get the U.S. Blu-ray because of the uh, cover artwork on this. I just absolutely love that. Really, really nice. And I like their artwork a lot. It's very cartoony. Uh, just fun, but Love Night of the Creeps, so yeah, and there's uh, special features on this, featuring Tom Atkins, making of, interviews, deleted scenes, commentaries, trailers, uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff. And last up, guys, wow, that went by fast, good, um, <laughs> Driving Delirium, I only went with the 80s because I have all the Garage House um, trailer trauma releases, and I just didn't really feel like buying more trailer compilations because I like them, but I don't watch them that often. Uh, but this is all 80s, maximum 80s overdrive. So if you're an 80s lover, highly recommend this if you want to potentially find out about some new films and, and whatnot uh, from the 80s. Good stuff right there. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's my modest little collection of uh, Umbrella Entertainment films out of Australia. So yeah, I recommend you guys check them out if you're in the market for new boutique labels and uh, to find some titles that have never been released before. Uh, Dark Age, Road Games, Man from Hong Kong. There's a few of them. Uh, Delirium Overdrive, those, uh, The Night of Horror, the DVDs they put out, uh, or I'm sorry, The Night of Horror Volume 1. Just some cool stuff exclusively put out through them. All right, guys, have a great th Thanksgiving. I will catch you the day after. Uh, be safe. Be easy. T-Money signing out. Peace.